Hello, Mario. Engineering Survey Vlog, Session 9, 22nd of September 2017. Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another survey vlog where we went out into the field, into Zealandia Park, and had a reasonably successful day in some reasonable weather. So, let's get out there and uh, have a look at what we found. So, uh, we start. We went out today with the intention of taking, a, doing a survey for some students of an adjoining paddock, the sports field. So, uh, we went out there to try and uh, complete the topo of that, and also to complete all of the internal topo of the Zealandia Park. So this means that we have now to concentrate on the area outside the park, the curb and channel and roading aspects of it. So we managed to get all of the internal stuff done over on the sports ground and picked up some um, boundary posts around the outside of the sports ground which will enable us uh, to determine some boundary dimensions uh, for that and uh, add that to the extents of Zealandia Park. So, um, yeah, pretty successful day. And uh, we've downloaded the information and uploaded it, downloaded it from the data recorder and uploaded it to Moodle. So let's, uh, let's have a look at Moodle here. So uh, engineering surveying, uh, right on here, and uh, session nine is where we've um, put the information. So um, if you want to um, find this um, video, uh, there it is, right there. And uh, this is the field notes, the HTML version, which sort of gives you a bit of a field note of what went on. You'll note that it's got all the previous information, um, the control data from the 4th, the 11th, 25th of the 8th, the 8th of the 9th, and then down the bottom here, um, we'll just get rid of that uh, cell phone there. That's what's it's clicking in and out. And then here's the data for uh, the 22nd of the 9th there. So, um, oh, we need to have a, perhaps another look at that. Um, so put that up on the big screen there. And you can see there that that's uh, given you an idea um, of the, the codes that we've used. And all of the information, the 6,000 information, um, is from that 20, the day of the 22nd. So, um, what remains is to obviously get this data into 12D and get a surface uh, defined for these um, people that are interested in the data. So, I've also downloaded the data as a CSV file. So, you can use the field note to interpret the data, and this here is the field note where the data uh, comes up as a CSV file which is open with um, easily open with Microsoft Excel and we can see down here the 6000 data is there so yes it just um, remains to um, obviously manipulate the CSV file so that we only get uh, unique coordinates for each point because the control data is in there. So that probably needs to be done prior to loading into 12D or in conjunction with it so that we can get the exact right balance. I should point out that this method that we're using of downloading the data here is um, a little bit of a cumbersome method but we don't have the ability to connect our data recorders directly with laptops and things at this point in time, or we haven't been able to get that operating. So um, when you do do that, that gives you certain efficiencies and you are actually able to download the data 
uh, as a field file into 12D, which again has some advantages. So we can get the data into 12D and get it in a position where we can uh, manipulate it and work with it, but um, it's not uh, the most ideal data. So if you were working in a workplace, they would have more efficient methods of doing this. And these, of course, um, come or evolve from day-to-day -day usage of the data and the programs, as as do all aspects of things that, it, as you're doing it um, on a day-to-day -day basis, it evolves and improvements arrive because it's in your interests to get things done uh, very quickly and efficiently so that you get, um, well, more profit for your boss would be one thing, but yeah, just a, a cleaner result. So, um, there you go. Session 22, uh, session 9 on the 22nd of September 2017. Um, the aim is in the next session to get the external data or the data outside of the Zelandia Park, um, which would then uh, give us all the data we need so that we can start um, reducing control and things of that sort of nature. So, yes. There you go. Look forward to the next day in the field. Cheers. See you.